I am finding and sourcing the right candidates for the roles that we have available. I work uh, within the manufacturing, so a lot of operator roles. Uh, there's also IT, uh, human resources. While you're speaking to students, you're also learning from the cadets that we have here. So I'm learning more about the insights themselves. What I do is I move around to different, uh, different plants in the steelworks each year and gain experience from there whilst also doing my university degree. And a system controller's job is basically to run the plant and oversee all of the um, inputs and outputs and all the creation and process operations of the plant. And I'm on shift and I work um, a five on, five off block, so 12 hour shifts. I actually became a materials cadet because of my mum. She works at Blue Scope and she inspired me to just first hear about the cadetship program at Blue Scope. Blue Scope and also the uni, they just support us through it. They, they have the best interest for us at heart and um, I think, yeah, that's definitely made the cadetship program a lot easier. Yeah, this is my first career as Expo. I really like it. It's really good to get to know like what jobs are out there and what's the availability with them. I've got a tiny idea. I'm, I've been asking around today, looking to expand on that. It's really good to get to know everything. I've always liked maths and science and physics, and they all just line up perfectly. My passion for uh, mathematics and science in high school drove me to apply for this cadetship. I'm originally from Newcastle and I ended up moving down to Wollongong to then study my degree and, and work at Blue Scope. So I'm currently working at the metal coating lines um, at Spring Hill and a, lot, a big part of my job is ensuring that a lot of the mechanical properties of the products that we're producing uh, are up to spec and have met the tensile requirements and uh, have met certain temperatures to achieve those mechanical properties. I'm based at slab making, specifically at the BOS, where they take liquid iron and they turn it into slabs. So in that process, we turn it, the iron into steel and then solidify it into slabs. I'm working with the staff there and also we work hand in hand with the maintenance to make sure everything runs smoothly and the operators are actually conduct the machinery. I think the fun things with cadet ships are the projects you get to thrown into, so they're all unique and they're all real problems that they're having at Blue Scope that you get to have a hand in to solve. I like the variety of options that like they give us and introduce us about. I think it's really cool that we get to learn about every single like topic and everywhere around like Australia and New South Wales. I think engineering seems very practical and physical and I think it would be really interesting to get in like one of those fields. Seeing people face to face is beautiful because you do get to see their facial expressions and their reactions. Oh, it's, it's actually been pretty easy. I, I did this two years ago and I'm, I was also a debater and public speaker in high school. So yeah, it was uh, it's pretty easy to talk to, to people and talk to them about the steelworks, talk to them about something I love as well. The best advice I would give is that if you just love science and love maths and love stepping outside of your comfort zone, then the cadetship is definitely for you. I've grown so much and I've done things I never thought I would do. Working while studying is such an advantageous thing because you not only get the exposure to the industry, that's relevant to your degree but you're also are getting paid along the, along the way. If you're capable of doing the work of, that an employee there is doing, they allow you to do that and they won't stop you from achieving great things in your career. Go on the website, go on to Blue, all the Blue Scope's contacts, even talk to someone you know from Blue Scope and I'm sure they'll be able to pass on some great information for you. And for the kids um, in high school, don't be afraid to ask questions, don't be afraid to come and have a look what's going on because we're always happy to help.